<laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are Art Matters New York. Um, we're a group of artists that discuss our work and the work of occasional guests. Um, our regular painters are with us today, as well as my colleague, Hans Vici. Hi, everyone. And I welcome everyone to our forum. Um, today, we're gonna, we've been on a little hiatus, summer break. And uh, so we have a little work to look at today. So let's just begin. Um, I'm going to open the screen here. And take a look. Oh. Are you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Barbara Lowenstein's uh, work. Barbara? Yes. <clears throat> Tell us what we're looking at. Okay, uh, it's a watercolor that was uh, done at um, uh, the Outer Banks. Uh, this is uh, heat and sun and uh, sky and water. Um, and um, I just uh, kept fiddling with it afterwards, but the, the basic uh, form of it, was done there at the beach. What's the size of this? It's uh, one of those watercolor pads that's about, um, mm, it's narrow, like three and a half oh. by six, something like that. Oh, so it's, it's oh, actually- yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a long, narrow, almost greeting card size. <clears throat> Excuse me. Has a sense of being a lot bigger than that. Oh, good. good yeah, thank you. it's hard to, uh, you know, determine the scale. I mean, it feels like it could be, you know, any size at all. I like that. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> I have to take them when I can. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Did you apply um, a chalk or, or, or other kind of paint? Or uh, no, it was actually water and um, uh, Karen Dash uh, watercolor crayons. And I might have used a little bit of uh, watercolor, uh, pan watercolor as well, but I'm not sure. I think it, I really do think it was mostly crayon. And, and it was, um, um, you know, like taking away as well as putting on you know, using paper towels, scratching a bit, um, uh, using, um, I like to use these uh, wall sponges. They're very good at uh, picking up paint afterwards, taking it away. The natural sponges or? No, no, they're, uh, they're called wall sponges, those, those white rectangular things that you use to clean. Uh, oh, it's too clean. To clean walls, yeah, yeah. So they work really well, or you, you can use a paper towel. Uh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, salt also, but I didn't use salt on this one. All I, those I like, things, I'm sorry. I like Barbara, the, the volatile appearance and the, there is sort of a mystery for mm. me. It's it's uh, it's not so easy to read, you know. It's not uh, yeah. a clear piece of a landscape. It could be, you know, because also because of the format, which is uh, uh, yeah, it's not horizontal. I like that. It's uh, you know, it's very, it's interesting. It's uh, it's something between going on becoming mm. something. It's like mm -hmm. uh, I like I like that quality. Mm, thank you, thank you. You know, also it has a very low horizon, right? Yeah. Instead of being up here, which gives the appearance that we're looking straight up at something very yeah. high. Transcendent. Take the point of view 
and you lower it, it makes you know the object uh, appear much taller. And so that effect is, which is probably why I was surprised at the scale, because mm. this jet mm -hmm. is almost floral thing. I know it's the wow. sun. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't actually, it's funny. I, my granddaughter was sitting next to me and she was painting a much more literal landscape of the ocean and the sky. And I wasn't conscious of doing that. Um, I just, it just kind of, I sort of felt like it worked its way into it. It's, it's also, it has something monstrous going on. We don't know if it's mm, going yeah. into something bad or good. You don't know, you know, it's like you're yeah. on that, that edge, which yeah. you, which you are, uh, yeah. That's that's interesting, you know. There's a lot of power in there, in a way, because of you know, that uh, undecidedness, in a way. I think the force of the ocean uh, wound up being in there. I it love is. it. I, I think it kind of reminds me. I don't know why, but like of Chagall. There's oh. a lot of interesting uh, shapes. And I don't know, it just has like a lot of power to it, but it's, I, I like what Hans was saying, you kind of can't tell exactly what it is, but it's, mm -hmm. it's spiritual or religious in a way. I don't know. There's, I see mm -hmm. some wings in there to the middle left. Some what? Like a, like wings. Wing. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. No, it, it seems like religious to me somehow. It's I like the falling angel theme. Yes, falling, yeah. Uh, oh. You know, that a lot of <laughs> things it comes to my mind also. Yeah, me too. Oh. I, I I'm see. Oh. You know. it's, it's really beautiful. Are we all fallen angels? Oh. <laughs> I think Hopi also the devil, you know, which suddenly uh, constitutes, you know, it's like, there is anthropomorphic stuff going on, you know, which uh, yeah, yeah. something becomes human or I don't know what. Yeah. Oh. So, thank you, thank you. It was the first thing I did all summer. I just uh, was Eddie, glad to do something. Was, this is something now completely different. Yes. yes. And now for something <laughs> completely different. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Where did this come from? What were you thinking? Okay. Uh, Curious. My camera just happened to, I, I somehow uh, clicked the shutter without knowing it. Right. So I had a, a uh, like, a, like a, a random set of shapes that I liked. So what I did was I made a drawing of those random shapes. And, uh, and then I decided to photograph those, my drawing. Mm -hmm. So it, it, you know, flattened it from the original uh, mess that the camera had taken random. So uh, it flattened it. And then, so I, I had, the photo paper with the drawing and I looked at it and I started to draw on it with uh, color on it, put some color down again with the Caran uh, watercolor crayons, but without using it with water. Oh. Um, and the more I did it, the more I realized that I wanted it to be a figure. And I was, I felt that I was being influenced by so many artists of color having uh, their work. And I, it just, it kind of took that direction. Um, and then in terms of the blockiness of it, I, 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 I wound up thinking of Marisol, uh, whose work I was just looking at. Um, so that's what happened. And then the more I started working on it, the more I started feeling like, wait a minute, this is a human form. 
this is a figure. Yeah. I don't understand when you say, you know, that it was informed by artists of color necessarily. I don't see what the direct link is. So can you? Um, this is, this is a, a person of color. Oh. Oh, 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 I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a person of color or an, or an indigenous person. I oh. mean, I've just seen so many paintings of indigenous and people of color uh, okay. that it just, it kind of seeped into my consciousness. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it has something... Uh, like uh, also a totem uh, fall. Yes. Uh, something. Yes. Uh, I, I, I was not necessarily thinking of uh, people of color, but I see that. But I, I mean, the first thing I saw or felt was in a way uh, all the, the backgrounds of, of Ego and Chile. I, yeah. Uh, very interestingly yes. enough. Yes. You know. Oh, wow. And, uh, uh, oh. That, that came to my mind first, actually. Oh, but it makes you... sense when you explain it uh, somehow, you know, uh, with, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's interesting. I yeah. don't to interrupt you, but can you explain what you meant by Egon Chile? Like that it reminded you of that? Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, when, when, he, when he has his, his backgrounds or landscape-ish uh, things, he has this type of uh, sort of, you know, uh, 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 texture thing going yeah. on, which I, you know, uh, it came to my mind, you know. That's interesting. I, think I, um, I saw it as a, like an an Asian warrior. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Like the hat oh, yeah. kind of reminds me of that, and then the uh, the pants and the belts, and I, I don't know, just it kind of reminded me of mm. like an Asian. You know, like a Chinese or a Japanese warrior. Yeah, that hat. could be because that could be then the headdress. Yeah. I was thinking hair, but it could also be a headdress. Sure. You know, it, it's a nice drawing. I like the placement on the page. I like the you know the centrality. You know how to this sort of loose rectangle. I like this line. You know that just this line that goes down here. This little sketch. Yes. And and the forms in in the uh, piece are great, you know. These and the colors are all, are really well done too. And I'll tell you one yeah. other thing that I really like about it is that you didn't overwork it. So I like the fact that I can see your act, your actual mark making, mm. you know, becoming this kind of you know atmosphere or mm. you no, know, you're. Mm -hmm you frequently do. Um, mm -hmm. I like that, you know, these, all these shapes have uh, mm. discrete forms. And as I said before, mm. you know, the, the mark making, the sketchiness, I think it all works, you know. Um, thank you, thank you. Feel overworked, feels fresh. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Very much so. I really like yeah. it. Love the, I love the palette. The colors, I think, are really great, really interesting. The no, I really enjoyed doing it. It, it was, uh, I had never done anything like this. And I was, the blockiness uh, yeah. reminded me, uh, I, I see what you mean about Egon Schiller, but I was, I had just been looking at some um, pictures of Marisol's sculpture. Yeah. And, and that was sort of in my mind, but um, mm. yeah, really, it's, it's, well, no, it's, it's really nicely done. Thank you, thank you. No, I'm I'm looking at uh, Egon Sheila. I see exactly what you're saying now. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. oh. very similar. Can you see? Uh, you know like, the way it sits on the page is somewhat reminiscent of that period and Sheila and you know, the uh, Vietnamese. Yeah. Uh, you know, secessionists. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Definitely calls that to mind. Uh, and they were also influenced by Japanese uh, paintings. By I can see that with. From far away, you know what I'm saying? 
And I see the samurai up there, you know, the head yeah. of yeah. Yeah, the headdress. The samurai. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's interesting, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting how things are unconsciously coming into, you're yeah. not saying into. Yes. Uh, yes. It's great when you can let the unconscious in. It's so hard to do sometimes, you know. I like, by the way, also this tail down there coming out. Of, <laughs> we don't know from where, but it's like a, a weird thing. But this weird thing makes something with this whole drawing, you know. You mean the candle thing? If that wouldn't be there. No, further down. This thing. Yeah, the, yes, you know, this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a weird thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it a lot too. But it makes it, it makes the very special thing also. Thank Sweet. you. Please. Thank you. Nice. You know what I found that I can draw on uh, matte photo paper. So I, I like this way of working. Nice. Mm hmm. So these are like rubbings, I can see. Yes. This is uh, rubbings from, it's a little Chinese, I don't know what it is, if it's an amulet, an amulet or what, but I, I can show it to you if you want to see it. Yeah, can you put it yeah. up to the camera a little bit more? Okay. Can you see, can yeah, you yeah. see? Put it closer, put it closer. I see. Eight-eyed or something. Uh, up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it? Yeah. 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 I just like this little thing. I thought, you know, it's so textural. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, great. Nice. So what do you do? You put color on it and then rub it on the... I put it underneath the paper. And um, I, I started out by just using pencil on this first one on the right hand side, uh, but the others are um, done with um, just putting water on top of it. And then again, um, the Karen Dash uh, water crayons. Just, just, it's hard to get it. Like I, I want, I would like the green and the, and the, and the purple to be not as intense. So that was kind of a challenge to tone it down a little bit because I, I kind of liked the center parts better. Um, why didn't you just do another one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why I did, at the time? If you weren't, you know, happy with... Oh, at the time? Yeah, why didn't you just start? I mean, it doesn't look like it was, you know, it would take that much to just start again and do what, you know, make the colors more what you... Yeah. Yeah, it was very late already, but I, you know, so I, I just didn't go any further with it. But Barbara, but, the following question, this looks like a section to me. So is that the whole piece here? Uh, yes, it, it is the whole, uh, actually, I did cut off the uh -huh. purple. I see. On the yeah. side and a little bit of the purple on the bottom. And I, that's what I feel. I, I liked it better that way. The other way, it just looks, I don't uh, know. I, you know, I think the piece is, it's, it's a nice piece, but mm. it's not the depth of the other pieces you show. No, it's, no. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, yeah. I think you can go on here a little bit more. Even if yeah. it's beautiful, you know, so-called. That's why I mean, that, that's why I suggested that if it wasn't going the way you wanted to, you should just, I would, you know, just do another one. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, getting this initial... Uh, you know, the rubbing is not that difficult, you no. know. I no, no. Just... Right. I, I kind of added this in just at a, at a last minute. I was even thinking I shouldn't because it's right. It's not it's not realized. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. But I, I kind of like the idea of it being juggling balls in the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So... Okay. And it's not transcending. You know, this is still on a level which is not transcending to something there. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, may do, I may do more of these. I don't know. Yeah, you can go on. So. Barbara, I'm so um, impressed with how many different 
uh, formats you've been trying. You know, I think you're really like- Thank you. Stretching and I think they're, I mean, I, I happen to really like this. I like how it's color and black and white. You know, I, I, I think it has mm. function. You know, maybe it's not as finished as the other pieces, but I mm -hmm. think it's great. You know, it's like a, a terrific start. And I love how varied your work is. Mm. And I applaud all of your desire to try new things. And I think it's great. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. All right. I enjoyed it. You know, I haven't oh, no, done I have anything a, all summer. I have still so, a, a, still a question, Barbara. Are you sure. working always on a table? Uh, I mean, on a yeah. small table, right? I'm working and on a you, you big never table. Work, you, you never go down on the floor and do something bigger. You don't do that. Uh, if I get down on the floor, I have trouble. I would have trouble getting up. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, okay. So you should would have started earlier to do that. I never admit to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes I have a feeling, you know, you are restricting yourself. You know, when, when you do these uh, uh, things with, with these uh, wrappings here, I yeah. can imagine to do a bigger thing with, which, which suddenly things are happening. You understand? Here it looks like yeah. it's yeah. like the best, you know. I like the color here too. They are classic, you know, it's beautiful. But I mean, there is, you know, it's not transcending yeah. because you know you you may make a, make a bigger piece maybe about those things and yeah. then you are more challenged also you know yes yes but, uh, I, could, you know. I could try that but i i I'm, yes. I'm i sometimes i do feel like working larger I, yeah. I, but the, said, otherwise you have to hire an assistant which bends down and does the, the things for you <laughs> right <laughs> hey, you know what Remember when Matisse was bedridden? What did he do? He had lots of people doing his cut with a pointed <laughs> stick. If you don't yeah. want to go down on the floor, yeah. use a uh, a brush on a handle, like a scrub brush with a handle on it. Oh, that's, that's true. What you could do right, right. A mop. <laughs> a oh, no. mop. <laughs> no, that was just throw the paper. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, you know, use a couple of different objects with a large sure. piece of paper and a brush yeah. with a handle and see what happens. Right. Yeah. Brush with a handle. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I very think free it's also. Even a big piece of paper on the wall, if you could tape other objects underneath the paper, you know, just that's tape them. They'd fall down. You couldn't really do that. Out. Yeah. A great anything. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many possibilities once you go down this road. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank okay. you. Thank we're you, gonna, Barbara. Yeah. We're going to move on to these are works by Marsha. Mm -hmm. Marsha, yes. I just, you know, there weren't that many pieces. I thought that you were going to, you know, send uh, when you said, you know, that you, you know, didn't want us to take too much time or you didn't want to uh dominate or you know the session so i just included all of them i didn't think it was that many i think they're all interesting and i think we mm. can is that okay i i said nine pieces oh i only got eight i got eight i believe maybe nine we'll see okay okay I number them in according, and I photograph them in the order in which they were done. Okay. Some are mm. more successful, some are awful. I, I'm going to, can I just go through them? Like, Ooh, good idea. Yeah, just, then we go back and, uh, go, yeah. Yeah. That we have a little bit of an idea. Of what, so, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Mm, yeah, wonderful. Wow. Great color here. Yeah. Mm. 
color is really terrific. Thank you. Very nice. These are so dynamic. Oh, they are. Wow. <laughs> That's a beauty. Mm. Mm. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. I sent you all of it then. That's mm. the one that's the start of something big for me. I think there's a song in there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this, this is the one that just captivated me. And it's the start of something freer and looser. And it's still based on that wonderful church in Sicily. And um, mm. just, it stole my heart away. Do you want to start? Should we just go back to the top? Yeah, sure. Bye. Well, Whatever you want. Very interesting. Well, I love this. <laughs> They're so good. I love that one too. Mm. This uh, is the least successful. No. Not really. No, I this, like this. No, one. that's just a good one. I don't like it at all. Yeah, but no. That's, no. That's, I, uh, Oh, I like this one a lot. Space in this. I love the window, you know, through which you're looking at more, you know, complex. Yeah. What I, what I like That's about what I this like too. I'm sorry. What, what I like about this one is that it's not so um, uh, sketched, you know, everything isn't in a box, you know, yeah. or sketched out. And so it has a lot of different feelings and textures and I think this is very interesting. The painting here, 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 you know, with the where the scumbling, you know, where the brush strokes are apparent, mm -hmm. the actual painting, I think is really interesting. I do too. I have, I like this one a lot. It is vibrating. Mm -hmm. Vibrating. That's right. I, I, mm -hmm. Personally I thought this was the really least successful and I thought it was Pachki, you know, it's like overworked. Marsha, we don't want to hear your negative comments. <laughs> this I like. <clears throat> this one I like the least. I like this. I, I think this is very well integrated. It is, but I just, it doesn't capture me like the other ones. Ah. I mean, well, I like the first one and the last one the most. Try to be, let's go. Not the this one, there's one before this. Okay, so we'll start here. That's great. It is great. <laughs> uh, yeah. This reminds me somewhat of, I think, the dynamism of, yeah. of uh, Russian constructivism. It yeah, so I was thinking that too. Yeah, or futurism. Yeah, these, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it's funny you should say that. Uh, because I was thinking of the synchronism. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think it was around the same time frame as Malovich and the yeah. other guys, but slices of color, modulated color into forms that were just ethereal and, and not ethereal at the same time. I, I was thinking of the synchronous synchronomy movement yeah yeah i can see that I can and you know this is almost a portrait without features in a way but yeah. this you know the, this is the head right yeah yeah, yeah. Shoulder. yeah yeah so it really has a kind of uh you know so so similar to movements that came out of that period in time they were abstracting mm. traditional formats or traditional forms, right? Mm. Oh, so yes. Also so. That's been abstracted into these right. bands or volumes of light. Mm. And, mm -hmm. 
I love this. For, this me, really... for me, it's still a little, uh, you know, uh, it reminds me very much on your older work in a way here. Yeah. It's really uh, right. not, nothing, uh, for me, it's not so interesting, I have to say. It's a little bit tight. It's not, that, you, not, it, it was not, not, not growing enough. Right, and and you have all these tight colors here. It's it's there is dynamism in there, but but not really how it's painted. It, it's painted very timid, even though there is like so much energy in there. You know, it's too tight. It's too. Uh, oh. It's not really painterly. Not so interesting, actually, for me. Even even the whole thing uh, wheels around. There is a lot of energy, but but it's not in the the way how you painted it, you know, you know that that's that's much more interesting coming up the next pieces. I yeah. think what 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 you then did, you made really a a, a, a leap, you know. Yeah. Even this one, I like uh, that already better. It's there is so much looseness in there, and and yeah. uh, and, yeah. uh, uh, and and br br breathing, you can breathe. It's beautiful, you know. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, this is very painterly, this one. Very that's, much, that very much. That, thank you, Barbara. What no. causes that sense of breathing? The fact that I'm trying to learn what, what, why... Yeah, you, you know, things are not so tied together. And here you have these white lines, you know, you didn't paint... Uh, uh, you, you didn't paint the white... Maybe some are white painted, I don't know. No, um, they're not. So, yeah, they are, it's the background. So it makes it, you know, there is a looseness and still very complex composition in front of me, oh. and which has a lot of energy. And I like, you know, like, like this green up there, the dark green, then the blue, uh, further down. It's great. Mm. I think it's wonderful. I do too. The I look at it, it's a great piece. I do. I think that uh, she's gotten away from figuration, and this is totally abstract. The yeah. other it's not abstract. Right. <laughs> it's figuration. And here she's gotten away from that and she's into abstraction and it's flowing. It has unity because it is abstract. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. Well, being, being abstract doesn't necessarily unify it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, repetition uh, will unify it, repetition of color or shape. You, you, please correct me if you think I'm wrong. I, I'm trying to understand what you're, so why you're saying that. Huh. Concept is what it is about, I think. Concept? Concept is clear in, the, in all of the following ones. The first one is not clear. Is it a, is it a, a portrait? Is it a whatever? You know, it's we're- It's church. It's the church again. It's, it's not. The church. You it is. These are lots to be successful. Church with the curves, the interior of that one church. I'll get the, the, the picture. It just, it sets me off. I mean, I don't look at it literally, yet, but it sets me off. And I'll get the, uh, the photograph. But the, this is a level, it's a, you know, it's just a leap. I agree. It's I agree. I think it's better, but I still don't love it as much as I, I, first of all, I love seeing everything first, you know, before we address it. I think that's a great way to look at, you know, well, the work. Well, um, yeah. I think it's gotten better, you know, yeah. as it continues on. Yeah. Was one, Marsha? One of the, th where is she? Did she disappear? I, 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 I'm sorry, I missed. I was just going to say, yeah. Okay, sure. I turned it around. Yeah. I turned it upside down. Which one? I just was captivated. But you know. By, by the curves, by the improbability of uh, not only the mosaics, which I haven't even begun to depict, but the, the improbability of those curves. I mean, it just captivated me and it's like, just in my heart, and it will never leave. It was just so profound. Can you show us the church again? Pardon me? 
Can you show us the image of the, the photograph? If you can see it, I don't know. I'm trying to, but uh, no, no, it's not happening. What we're really looking we at. We saw it before. I know, but I don't can know. Can you put it in front of you? <laughs> In front of your face. Here it is. Go. Yeah, a little bit ah. further from the camera away. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Yes. The curve. Ah. The curve. Ah. I, but listen, ah. this is your inspiration, Marshall. I understand that. But you know, once you did this painting, you, it's just uh, uh, Phyllis is right. You know, it's it's an abstract. It's really an abstraction. The other, one, the, the, the other one is still too close on the okay. thing, maybe. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Okay. It's also an abstraction, but uh, it's something is not yeah. yet here. It's, it's not not another ball game. Right. You know? yeah. I find what's really interesting about this is your color choice, your palette. Right. Also very important. Yeah. You know, you've become a very, very interesting and adept colorist. I mean, I never considered you a colorist, but I do now. I think, you've, I think you're yeah. becoming That's quite interesting and quite sophisticated. And she's been a colorist ever since I've known her. Yeah, me too. Very interesting. A very good colorist. Yeah. This very strange, unnameable, you know, mm -hmm. color, oh, you know, yeah. suppose it. With oh, it's an ochre, it's yellow ochre, and the top one is yellow ochre with a touch of yeah. maple's yellow. I'm just talking though about the way they're coordinated, you know, with this reddish brown. You yeah. know, the, the colors are working, they're all yeah. working together, yeah. and they're not obvious. These are not obvious color choices. Right. No. Now, this gray in here is really a surprise. Wonderful. That's a wonderful thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Did it. So it's very, very considered. I mean, you know, you painted this, you left it like this because it worked for you. And these are not obvious, mm -hmm. you know. And what red, what red, blue, yellow, you know, these are really unusual. Uh, Look at the turquoise in the in in the middle there. That yeah. time. Like juxtaposed. Mm -hmm. A turquoise with a cobalt blue. You know, they're all kind of blues. All no, these but they're all middle. To the different blues up here. Yeah. So I, I find, and I, I find that to be the case on all of these, that the colors are really <laughs> becoming something that have like almost kind of an, an emotional mm. sense of focus. Oh, absolutely. All of these. They speak to me so directly. They just, they just talk to me. I can't really explain it in a logical way. That's good. But, but they, <laughs> you know, it's just, it, I, words fail me. Good. I, I'm usually a loss for words. That's why you paint. Oh, yeah. Presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like a different form of music. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. But, I wish I understood that. I, I wish I did. It speaks to you. Your know, music speaks to your heart, even though you can't fully explain it. And all, I mean, in my case, at all. I the color speaks to my heart. Can we listen to, let's listen to Phyllis. Phyllis. I think she's adjusted the color range to the meaning of, or the impact of the of the. Uh, Painting, it fits, it works. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, this goes from very, very high color to uh, low, low, low color. Yes. The sounds of a timpani and then the sounds of a uh, something. <laughs> Speaking of symphony. Exactly. <laughs> I'm totally in awe of your definition. That was the furthest thing from my mind. It just, in your mind. The colors just feel right. <laughs> and if they don't feel right, I fix them. Well, but I'm noticing that the values, excuse me, <clears throat> the values are like here it's high intensity. And right. the last one, it's it's much lower, yes. the value. 
views are are much softer. So I did that deliberately just to make a change and yes. see how it would work. And sometimes I try to go monochromatically. Uh, that never seemed to work for me. It's always got to have a pop of some kind. But um, it, it's really kind of the, uh, that I plan the, the soft and the bright. Yeah. That I plan. And I try to use certain groups of colors that I hadn't used before uh, by adjusting them in certain ways. Mm. But but that's easy for me because I did that on the uh, board in, in uh, yeah, yeah. you know at work. Well, I I think that the the later uh, images and paintings are so much better. But I like this one too. Yeah. I, think you, I think you're getting better and I think your the interest you know is much stronger as you continue on and I think the use of your color you know for me it's you've always been a colorist but I think that what you've been able to do is incorporate these really mm -hmm. interesting but I don't talk about color that's I mean, sorry what did you say Phyllis I didn't hear she's learned so much about color yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I mean, you're always, uh, to me, I don't know, you, I think that's one of the strongest uh, uh, parts you're learning, so talented with color. I mean, hopefully you're learning. What I believe, yeah, in a way, is uh, when I, that, that you have, I say, my opinion, you have uh, always a little bit a problem with red. Because, yeah. you know, there are so many different reds and you have always this very dark, uh, heavy red uh, in there. And maybe once you get rid of that or, or, or you handle it a little bit different, uh, it would be much, uh, everything would loosen up. I think the red is uh, kind of destroy a little bit. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, some people, they have a, they, they paint the kitchen red and it's maybe very it's not really beautiful if you're in a red room it's it, it's not nice to to uh, sit yeah red is a very difficult color i mean uh, it is a very well, difficult but 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 you you know when when it's it's reds you are i think when you don't use those reds everything loosens up too you know in a way Mm. I think yeah, that's maybe. It sounds now a little bit like a very simple, uh, simple mind, you, but uh, think I, I think I should... it's very important. Asha, are these the reds in the painting itself, or is that the way the computer is reading them? Because I, uh, there are two different. There are three different reds in here. Four, and the, you can't see it. I think that. My computer reads all my reds as blue reds, and that, that's not true. No, I see. No, all, I see. Of, I uh, see computer. But going back to what Hans is saying, Hans, are you suggesting that perhaps I uh, not do red or modulate or, or, take, or really, eliminate? Take, take really a, a, a cadmium red, which has more let's say really sh red shining you have to do something with that but but i see always kind of this darker dead red for me it's like a dead red the, you know it's like uh like dried you know, blood you know these reds I, I that's that's what i feel when i when we go back to the first painting or or or, or maybe you know something i mean here it works where you on the down yeah. here on the left side you, you loosen the red up, you see that? So it becomes almost like a, 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 a reflection of a light. Here, you see also here the reds are incredible. Uh, viol uh, here, you see how, how it loosens suddenly up when you don't put this heavy um, red stuff around things, you know? Mm. And sometimes I, I have a, here, you know, you have no red, look at this. It's it's immediately mm. better, you know. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think we have to see the real painting because yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. reds as they are. And here, red in the that. middle, you know, that's red in the middle. It's just uh, 
Yes. I don't know. It, it, they're it they're all tempered reds. It kills the painting almost. It scares me. So I always temper it. What, what kind of red do you use? I used a uh, cadmium red light, cadmium red deep. That's uh, a real red. Go ahead. Yeah, the deep is. And I use um, cadmium red medium. That's real red. There's That's like. Crimson. And I use a list of in crimson. Is that considered a red? That's a blue red. Right. Um, I use uh, the transparent orange, which is a reddened, yellowed orange. Um, <clears throat> the, the reds are cadmiums. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And these are oils, Marsha? All oils. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's the transcription of the computer and the camera. I, I'd like to see the real thing. Well, you're welcome to come. I will. It's very nice, I think. I love this too. But it reminds me of Mary uh, on something else, by the way. It's just, uh, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, Sekula or all these, you know, like uh, painters from the 1920s sort of. Uh, mm. this, is em this is embryonic. But it's nice. I think it's really it's well done. Too. Uh, this one I find very stiff. Um, uh, still, no, it's fabulous. Oh, yeah, it's, good. it's not fabulous. Okay, warm, it's warm, warm. It's, warm. It, it's studied, uh, it's over, it's a little bit overworked. Um, I mean, mm. it's pleasing, it's not unpleasing, but sorry, Marcia, you're not allowed to, to give something. input. <laughs> Hans, what did you say it, it reminds you of? Yeah, I, uh, uh, on uh, you know some uh, painters in the twenties. Uh, I mean, you know, it's uh, oh. sort of you know like cubism stuff. Oh, but, but mm -hmm. I like the piece. It's very warm. There is a warmness in there. Yes. You know, it's like a, yeah. It's, it's, I think it's a great piece. I know mm. this, this could sound kind of. Oh, weird, but that looks <laughs> because of my recent experience. Looks a little bit like a headstone. Uh, I agree with you, Marie. Uh, I, I, and I, I, and I yeah. find it really interesting. Yes. You know, I I, say, I, I, that was that was my anniversary. Oh, oh. So see, it's beautiful, Marcia. And yes. you took a very, very mm. tough subject. And you made I couldn't it. imagine. I, I was thinking mm. of a door. And then I wasn't thinking of a door. Mm -hmm. and, and this kind of the Chirico high mm -hmm. color kind of thing mm -hmm. came into my head. And I said, you know, it was kind of hokey, but no, I love it. I kind of mm -hmm. like it. I like yeah. that. And you know what I like about most? I like the blues. I like that the, mm -hmm. the blue that looks like it's sky, and then the piece above it that's the dark blue. I think it's mm -hmm. so masterful how you did the strokes. You yeah. know, in the twenties and thirties, if you if you went to the O'Keefe, the there was a small George O'Keefe show. It wasn't yeah. actually that MoMA? Did you yeah, see it? Uh, uh, no, no, I I well, heard about it, but you know, watercolors and. Just all kinds of stuff that you would not have necessarily associated with mm -hmm. her own, you know, of, you know, of the desert and flowers and, you know, her more subtle mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. But, she did, uh, you know, some work that was very abstract, that a kind of um, a very personal, emotional content. Mm -hmm. And this somehow reminds me of that, that there's mm -hmm. some content that really is of a very personal nature that has a kind of a certain kind of, you know, emotional or, you know, psych psychological meaning. Mm -hmm. And I feel it, and I don't, you know, I don't know what it means literally, but somehow I feel it in, oh. in, in this work. I you know, I like that. That you're yeah. literal or that you're not editing your you're just letting it come mm. and no. i find in this and uh and i find it very very effective very strong the light in there 
you know, the, oh, the light. Hans was saying, there's something very beautiful. And I might, I might add, you know, that here the reds are working perfectly. Yeah, beautiful. I was ask you about the red in that. That's like a almost pure cadmium red light. Everything mm. is fine with also, you know, well, yeah. dark threads, everything is balanced. Mm. It, I think it's very interesting that it, it has a balance, as you said, to all the colors are so beautifully balanced, but it's not static because this, maybe it's the gray on the bottom that just throws it a little bit out of kilter to make it blue. more interesting. This blue is so beautiful and it's just sort of lift the whole thing up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really well painted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. This one feels a little more like your earlier work. Yeah. yeah. A little mm -hmm. more. Um, I wasn't happy with this. Huh? I wasn't necessarily happy with this. Yeah. But I decided to leave it alone. Yeah, good. That would be it alone. Sure. It's not so bad. No. It's just fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, reds, the reds here, I'm sure Hans approves no. of. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah. Sign <laughs> off on the reds. I, they work also very well. How about the reds here? They're beautiful. Yeah. The reds. Yes. Yeah. Hans too. See them. I approve. I'd like they look pink. On the monitor, they look pink. No, no. They're they're, they're cadmium red. I'm wearing a shirt that I think this is Carl. It's not pink. Hmm. Uh, but I went to see Barbie because a friend of mine, whose opinion I value, said it's an important film. Mm. Oh, I will never wear pink again in my life. <laughs> you know, Marsha, what you could do, what you could do, can, can you go back just a second? Uh, where, you know that it becomes more really a, a ball. Uh, put more uh, uh, bright uh, brightness and more like a, a thing right. in, in that in that in that round ball. ball. And then, and then it pops really out, you know, and it becomes even more, more an object which comes toward you. I would do that to you. Uh, I agree. Mm -hmm. That would be the most easiest thing to do. Yeah. I, I, I didn't quite understand what you like Put it more highlight in there. A highlight. More, more oh, yeah. color in here. Really? Oh, highlight. More. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, because that's a little bit weak how it's done there in the middle. You, you, can, you can really enhance that. Okay. And then it will really pop out and it will be a great piece, I think. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. This seems different from yeah. the other pieces. I studied as the first one, the one before it. It's freer in its own way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. I like it. It's a uh, very interesting. Mm. Like yeah. all these even symbolist paintings. Yeah. Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah. So much dimension. Because there's some sort of content to the, even though they're very abstract. Yeah. For the viewer, I know they come from your interest in the architecture and in the churches and the cupolas and you know all these things, but they have a real a spiritual or a you know a symbolist um, content. Greens and and the dark next to the dark is just magnificent. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice the way you took these each of these colors. Mm. Went and did a darker shadow. Yes. On this it 3D. Yeah, so it's really three dimensional. Yeah. Really. What I would suggest here is, uh, you know, when when you're on the top, you see the 
I, I call it this Serra, Richard Serra wall. We are looking down, you know. Uh, can, can you go mm -hmm. with the cursor mark to... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, to, yeah, stop, uh, go uh, to the more to the left. Just where it hits the yellow, this, this, this wall here. Yeah, mm -hmm. here. No, 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 the other one. D down, right, go, go, down. no. And then uh, go more to the left now. Stop, yeah, this is the wall. You know, which I look down, sort of. Yeah. I would, I would on that on that edge there where it hits the yellow. Yeah. Mm. Go darker, darker. Oh, really? So you and then yes, and then but then just there, and then then you mix it. Not the whole wall, but when okay. you make it darker, you know this this yeah, yeah, yeah. lava, this whole yeah. sun will really, you know, mm. because when you look into something bright. Mm. Everything is much darker around it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then that doesn't make sense that you have it brighter. I think you should uh, it darker there, and then mm. it will really like you feel the heat. What's going on there? Mm -hmm. but dark I, against light and light yeah, against dark. Yeah, that's, that's that's what I would do. Yeah. yeah okay, very but subtle, that, but try it out. It has a, a very sharp, thing. sharp. You know, mm -hmm. a sharp line. Yeah, mm. not the whole thing, just the uh, bottom. Just, yeah, just a little. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Try it, and then it will really... You, you, I'll try like that. A, well, it's like a volcano exploding soon. Or what mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Marsha, what's the size of all of those? Uh, these are... Uh, they're all done uh, vertically, 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. I hit upon that size. Mm. Good exercise for the church. Um, but then I got so tired of that format that I did it the other way. Mm -hmm. And I just love this one. I don't think it's finished, mm -hmm. but I, I just, I painted with a brush, brushes, many brushes. Mm -hmm. And then I, I started trying to blend with a rag. And I love mm -hmm. it. I like it too. Do you think it's finished? I would. I wouldn't. I think if you do more, I think you're gonna destroy it. You know, maybe it's not really. You know, there is maybe one percent so called uh, which you think yeah, it's not really resolved. But I think that's maybe exactly the in interesting part of it. I would. I would do a whole series of those things, which you are uh, really yeah. loose. You know that where you come uh, uh, not from the line, you come more from the paint, and then so but once you do a series of it, you will see it. So suddenly it opens a, a completely new world. And uh, I yeah. think that's mm. so. I would take this as an inspiration. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything else on it. I think. Uh, okay. Just keep it as your inspiration and do do, do new stuff in that in the in this manner. Okay, and here I, I try to limit my colors um, to first a yellow and green with peaches, um, sort of vernal, if you will, in feeling. But um, and then I had to go over to the other side, so to speak. Um, but I, I won't, I, I felt that the bottom left and where I started using, this is red, but it's so smushed in with the other wet colors, it oh. doesn't look like red. Um, but um, I'll leave it alone, but it's it would open up my head. Yeah. I, I was just so- I wouldn't I, touch. I was so happy and I've had a lot of bad stuff going on, really bad stuff. Mm -hmm. and, I won't bore you with the details in their private anyway, but uh, this made me happy. Mm. Yeah. This one. I'm going to just, just rotate this. I just want to see something. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. It works. Mm. And it's a big painting, and I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. I like it like this, too. Bye. I think mm. I like it best this way. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, doesn't it look like a head that yeah. way? Yeah. That's exactly what I don't want. I yeah. want it horizontal yeah. rather than vertical. Mm. Like it horizontal the other way. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it like yeah, that. this way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess it's the right way. Very I, nice, Marsha. I could see why it inspires you. It's very free. It's beautiful. It's it, a lot of action. It's beautiful. It's uh, floral, but it is floral, and it's beautiful. If it's good enough for you know what was my inspiration. Uh, a painting that Phyllis had done. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. And she did it with a rag. She did it with brushes, of course, but she did her blending with a rag, with the heel of her hand. Who knows? Maybe she dragged in all her old clothes. But it inspired me um, to try it this way. I've been mm -hmm. wanting to do this for a long time, and it kind of worked for me on this. And I think it just opened up a whole new vista for me. Mm -hmm. Great. I think it's great. You made so many yeah. things now, yeah. which are really, you, uh, yes. I think the summer break was good for you to uh, really, <laughs> it's very uh, astonishing. Yeah. How, yeah. How it's how we beautiful go. pieces. Yeah. It, it is kind of astonishing. I mean, look where I've come from totally figurative to right. try my hand at this. Yeah, mm. Thank you all for your comments. I'll take them all under advisement and to heart. Yes. <laughs> Good. Gorgeous work. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Thank you for sharing them. Mm. So, Mark, uh, I think we are already over time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I oh. think. Marsha, great, absolutely great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the time. Very yes. And Barbara also, very, very. Oh, beautiful. Huh? Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, Plus, uh, you're a good audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that so, uh, if you were, uh, if you joined us and we're watching this discussion, this is what we do every week on Thursdays at what time do we normally kick this 11, off? 1130 to 1230. 1130. And so if you're interested in um, just looking at uh, paintings uh, by ourselves, I mean, you could even join us if you're interested. We have a website. Um, Marie, what's the website, the name of it? It's Art Matters New York at gmail.com. So if you're interested, uh, we'd be happy to see what you are doing out there. We'd love to look at it and talk about it and uh, be inspired by something different, something new. Hans, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I want to say everybody have a nice week <laughs> and we see each other next week. Yeah. Paint up a storm. All the best. Bye. All the best. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna sign off on this.